Hello it's your girl Nasibi, you're very welcome to my YouTube channel where I post useful information about cancer and every other topic that relates to cancer. But in today's video I'll be talking about common causes of armpit boil. For you to benefit from this video completely, I would urge you to watch my video till the end. I would start by asking that if you're new to my channel, you're very welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell right beside the subscribe button so that you'll be getting notified each time i post useful information like this on my channel and don't also forget to share my videos and like my video or unlike my video if you don't really find it interesting so i'm going to start by telling us what boil is a boil is called furuncle, that's another name for boil, that is often caused by an infection of hair follicle or oil gland. Some boils grow bigger and becomes very discomforting, like it would make you feel very uncomfortable. Others are not life-threatening and may open and drain on their own within two weeks. However, if the boil under your arm grows rapidly or does not improve in two weeks, Please don't hesitate to see your doctor. This means your boil may need to be surgically incised and the pores should be subjected to testing to identify the cause. This also applies to boil that reoccur. So we go to the common causes of armpit boil. Number one is excessive sweating. If you sweat more than normal due to weather or physical activity, but you don't clean yourself properly, you may be more susceptible to infections such as boils. The second cause of boil is shaving. Your underarm is a place where dead skin or sweat can build up. If you shave your armpit often, you may be accidentally creating openings in the skin under your arm, which can allow bacteria easier access into your skin. Number three is poor hygiene. If you do not wash your armpit regularly, dead skin can build up which may contribute to the development of boils or pimples. Number four is that if someone have a compromised immune system. If you have a weak immune system, your body may be less able to fight off bacterial infections. Boils are also more common if you have if you have a patient that have diabetes, mellitus, cancer, eczema, or allergies. Thank you very much for staying put with me till the end of this video. I promise to come next time to tell us some other more interesting things about boil and what you actually want to listen to. So please don't forget to share my videos to reach others. And don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up if you find my video interesting. Stay tuned.